We've got another what am I looking for when I'm thrifting video coming up right now. I get a lot of questions asking me what kinds of things I like to pick up from the thrift stores and how I really narrow down what I'm picking up. And this is another video where I'm going to show you a deep dive into one of the items that I like to make sure I pick up and my three rules for picking up items. One, is it unusual? Two, is it well made? Three, is it unique? If it has a function and form, we have a winning combination. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at all things celestial. There are people that are really into everything, sun, moon, stars, and we'll even just dive into a little bit of space the final frontier, um, and talk about the things that people like to pick up. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you go down there and subscribe. I am a homeschool mom that sells on eBay and Etsy to help support my family. And in this video, we're going to be talking about space. The Final Frontier. So when I talk about celestial items, what do I mean? I mean I'm talking about anything with sun, stars, moon, horoscope, uh, just random stars, lone star state, anything to do with things you would find in the night sky because people are really, really into that. So the three things I like to make sure that I address when I'm looking at any item that I buy is one, is it an unusual item. Now let's say there are things that are star related all over the place, but I want to find something that is a unusual star or space related item. So perhaps it is something that is a constellation and that's not something, yes, it's star related, but it's not something you see all the time. I don't see constellations all the time, or maybe it's something that's um, Saturn. It's something I don't see all the time. Um, is it well-made? So I want to make sure I'm finding things that are well-made items. And then three, is it unique? So if I'm going to pick up something that's got a star on it, I don't want it just to be like a random plastic star. And I want it to be something that's really cool, like a blown glass star or like metal casted, or it's got some other twist to it to make it unique. So that my, my go-to is if I've got a friend who collects stars, I want to be able to pick up that item and know there's no way she's got this right? Because if, if it's something else where you're questioning, like there's a million of these, it's a dime a dozen, chances are less likely that you're going to get a good profit on it. All right. And then my winning combination is if it has got all of those factors and it is a functional item, say like a nightlight or a piece of jewelry or a box that opens and closes that you can do something with, it's more than just a figurine, then you've got that winning combination because if I'm going to buy somebody a gift, uh, yeah, sure, I could get them a figurine, but if I could find them this cool like egret opening and closing box that I, they could put their jewelry in, then then that would be an extra bonus to have to give as a gift. Let's dive in to some of the celestial items I've sold lately. And then we'll look on eBay if you're interested in seeing like what are other people selling and what kind of prices are they getting just so you know when you're out looking. Here we go. All right, let's get started. These are all items as you can see up top. I've got all my Etsy ones open because Etsy saves listings from the beginning of time. And since I cross post most of my items on eBay and Etsy where I can, then most of those will either be sold on eBay or they will have sold on Etsy, depending. Okay, so this is an item that I picked up. It has a sun and a star. No, it has a sun and a moon. A sun and a moon and it's connected by a chain. So was this something that was an unusual item to find? I see sun and moon stuff okay frequently. Was it well made? Yes. And was it a unique piece? Yeah, that sun had a cool face. It had this chain. It was like a two-piece brooch, piece of jewelry. So it was definitely unique. All right, moving on to the next item. This was something that I sold a long time ago. I can tell because the pictures are wretched, but it was a sun. It was a cool piece. It was form and function. So that is a winning combination. And it's got these cool like swirling things around the sun. The sun has a face. It's got all sorts of things going on. So it was definitely unique. Next up is this ring that sold not too long ago that had this purple garnet in it, which was cool. I had my 
Presidium gem tester, thank goodness, to test that. Um, but it's got a sun on one side and it's got a moon on the other side. And so that was pretty cool. I didn't polish this up. It was, you you know, the way that it was made, it, was, it looked really cool with that tarnish. So I left it as it was. Next item. All right. So here we had something that was a sun and it had like this trajectory of the stars in the sky and then there were like planets in the background so and it had that function so it had a lot going on it was not an unusual you know thing you know i see sun things i see hooks but it was well made and it was unique it was so unique it had these three hooks it had this trajectory of the the night sky it had the planets the moon the sun it was super cool so i definitely had to get it what did I pay for this thing? I'm just wondering. Off the top of my head, I can't remember. I paid a dollar for that. Okay, cool. So um, this one, I was like, well, I'm going to throw it in there. It has some sun on it. This one had a lot going on. It had wrapping paper. It had function. It had, you know, suns and hippie stuff. So, but yeah, it's salty. Vintage wrapping paper. All right, so this is what I'm talking about with form and function being that winning combination. So we've got a sun, no, a moon and a star. We've got a box, a trinket box to put stuff in. So if somebody is collecting moons and stars and things like that, they might want a little box. It makes a nice gift. Another thing was when I started looking this up, it was this red color, red and yellow. I saw a ton that were blue and yellow or purple and yellow that kind of matched the night sky look, black and, you know, like the gold, but not as much with the red. So that was made it also another factor of being unusual or unique. All right, this one I threw in there just because it was a luminary. I don't see a whole lot of those anyway, but they were these like paper bags that you would put the candle in. It had a star in it. I pulled it up, whatever. All right, here we've got a bracelet. Now, this bracelet had some scuff. It had some wear on it. I don't know that I sold it for this price, but I'll pop the price up on this. Um, but yeah, it was not necessarily an unusual thing to find, a piece of jewelry with stars on it, um, but it was unique. It had this kind of open latticework background. It was a clamper style, or hinge style rather, um, bracelet that opened and closed. It was really cool. I mean, as you can see, there were some definite condition issues, but it was cool enough and I think it was branded as well. Yeah, Boucher. I'll have to look back. But anyway, I'll put the price on here. But this was a, definitely something that was a good buy. All right, here's another one. Now, this style of star is not necessarily like celestial. It's more like Southwest, more Texan, because it's got that kind of Lone Star look. But hey, Texans love their Texas stuff. So Lone Star State, Texas Star, go with it. I'm going with it. Fight me. No, don't fight me. I will lose. All right, here's a stamp. Again, stars. Didn't sell for a ton, but picked up for cheap. Uh, it's from a long time ago because that's my leg. I took a picture on my leg. All right. <laughs> Next, again, another one that just got stars. This is an Olympics hat, but it had stars. There are people that just like stars. Little bell, this little golden bell. It was, I mean, I see bells. Um, it was okay. I mean, there were some condition issues as far as how well made was it? But that gold and that cobalt blue really drew me in. Sort of a cobalt blue, not quite cobalt. But anyway, it drew me in. I liked it. I, I enjoyed playing with it when I picked it up. And I was like, oh, somebody else is going to like this. Um, and it was kind of unique with the little bobble, what do you call those, like a little rhinestone stuck on there to really give it some extra bling. All right, another one. This is more like Lone Star State style. Huh? It's going to be a tongue twister day. Get those fingers out of there, Margaret. Um, but this one, again, stars. It was unique. It was a bracelet, so form and function. That's a win, right? Now, I did throw this one in because um, I, I started pulling back from the, like, airy fairy celestial horoscopes and things like that. And I was like, well, you know what? Celestial can also be, like, space race and people that are in, into NASA stuff and the moon and, like, exploration. And this was from the, what, Apollo 15 moon lover one 1971 tie bar. So yeah, that was a good buy too. Again, this one too, Mercury Space Capsule. This is a little charm that had to do with the space race. Ah, this was the unique one. Okay, this is where we got that. Um, is it something that is an unusual find or an unusual thing to find? Yeah, okay. And it, I mean, I guess it's the man in the moon. That's what it kind of made me think of. Um, it was well-made 
and it was unique. It was definitely unique. So it was this head, face, moon thing with, I guess you could make it a planter, put like a succulent in there. Look at him. Look at him. He's awesome. But he sold. All right, here's what we're talking about with some of the other celestial stuff. I like picking up stuff that has to do with horoscopes because people, that's just one other thing that says this is me. Same thing with like favorite animal, same thing with favorite collectible, same thing with, you know, horoscope. This is my horoscope. I know there's another word for it. I can't think of it. Anyway, I'm a Taurus. I'm not a Virgo. But people like their, their sign. That's what it is, a sign. All right, here's another one, Sagittarius. It was a necklace. Uh, Star Wars, or Star Trek, oh my gosh, Star Trek, um, Mug, and NASA. So, some of them being more celestial, like types of sun and stars and moon and dancing under the moonlight, and others being more scientific. Either way, people love things to do with space. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've sold any celestial things lately, and make sure to let me know if you've got that winning combination of form and function to make that winning combination for your sale. Also hit and that bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified when I put out new videos because I'm going to be making more of these type of videos where we talk about the things that I like to pick up when I go to estate sales and garage sales and thrift stores to sell to help support my family. Talk to you soon. Bye.